Today I'm going to teach you how to make peyote stitch flower cuffs just like these. You are going to need pony beads, scissors, and elastic stretch cord. Let's get started! Now we are going to add on our beads for the single. I'm going to be using green and yellow as my flower beads. So for the base of the flower, we are going to end up using three beads of each color like so. We're gonna alternate this all the way around. I'm gonna use 30 beads as the base for my single. If you need to go up a size, you go up by three. If you need to decrease the size, you go down by three beads. So continue this pattern till you get 30 beads or your bead count and tie it off. So when you have all 30 of your beads on, we are going to put the ends together and we're going to tie a square knot. We're going to take our scissors and cut off the short end. We're going to leave a long end attached still. We're going to take our string and go in to one of our flowers. So your string should be here. We're going to add on one of our center beads. I'm going to be using clear. We are going to go down through this bead. So we're skipping over the middle and we're stringing in to the end bead here and then the beginning of the other bead here. So we're going through two beads. And what makes this different from a normal peyote stitch is this. And this is actually called a drop two peyote stitch. It's often used for these flower cuffs. Uh, I don't really see it in many other projects that people do, but you can definitely make some really cool stuff with a drop uh, two peyote stitch. So you can see we've got the bottom of the flower and the little middle right there. So we're going to add on another middle bead. We're going to skip this middle bead and go through this yellow and this green here. Like so. And we're going to do this all the way around the cuff until we finish. When we get to the last one, we're going to add on our bead. We're going to string through on two beads and now we're going to go up through the middle here on the first middle bead that we strung. So we're going through three beads and we are going to pull that tight. Now if you'd like to you can tie this off to make sure uh, nothing breaks or if it does it's only one row. So I go in the middle, I wrap the string around and then I just pull it like so. And then we are ready to continue on. So what we're going to do is we're going to add on two flower petals and make sure that they match. And we're going to go through each middle bead, adding on two beads at a time. Like this. You can see how the flower is coming together. We do this all the way around. Okay, so once you get to the last petals here, we're going to go up through this center bead and up through these two petals, so three beads again. Now we are going to add on our top petal. Now we are going to add on our top petal, string through two beads, and pull it tight. And continue all the way around, and you can see that our flowers are now going to be complete. So when you get to the very last one, we're going to string through these two beads and up through the top. We're going to pull it tight, make sure everything fits well. We're going to just poke our string in between here. We're going to wrap our string and we are going to pull. And we're going to do that two or three times. We take our scissors and cut off the extra. And there you go. You've made your very own candy flower cup. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment below. I'm very close to 20,000 subscribers, so if you can make sure to hit that subscribe button, it'd be greatly appreciated. Make sure to give this tutorial a thumbs up if you liked it. You can always head down to my website to see more information and more candy tutorials that I've put out. And while you're there, visit the shop for all the new merch that I've put up. Thanks for watching, and I will see you lovely people later. Bye.